We begin tonight with a triple murder investigation involving family members. Greensboro police say Thomas Gilly shot and killed his dad before shooting three people at a Kernersville apartment. Good evening, I'm Sydney Moore. Apartment staff told us that investigators believe that shooting was family driven too. WFMY News 2's Hannah Jeffrey spoke with neighbors who never thought tragedy would hit their quiet neighborhood. People in this Greensboro neighborhood on Bayberry Lane woke up beside a crime scene. When I left for work in the morning, um, they had the area cordoned off, um, police officers, and I saw the um, um, investigator unit there, so figured something was going on. Finding out their neighbor, Douglas Gilly Jr., was shot and killed. The suspect, his son. We it's know. a tragedy. I, it's I mean, horrible. Not only the people that's been gone, but that 22 year that's a kid. He's, his life is over. Yeah. I, I mean, you, you know, it's... It's over. Neighbors weren't sure the father and son lived together, but they remember seeing them around. We was having that yard sale and they were having a yard, yard sale, sale and they time. walked up, walked over and talked to us. And, and like I said that, you know, yeah, just those few, but never been any signs of um, no problems, problems up her. No, no fighting. After the Greensboro shooting, police say Gilly headed to a Kernersville apartment complex. Three people were shot. Two of them died. It's a total shock. It's got to be. There's just no explanation for the tragedy, and it's a tragedy. That's the only way to look at it. Kernersville police say a shootout happened between Gilly and officers. He surrendered shortly after. Hawthorne at the Meadows Apartments released a statement saying in part, officials believe this was a family-driven isolated attack and there is no immediate danger to Meadows residents. We are deeply saddened by this incident. Gilly faces two counts of general murder and two counts of attempted murder. He's at the Forsyth County Jail tonight and is being held without bond.